Now, when the games were shut down, the Bulls were on their way to a road trip in Florida, and it was expected that Zach Levine would be able to return to the team from his quad injury. The man overseeing his treatment and his return is our next guest, Dr. Brian Cole, the team physician for the Bulls and co-team physician for the White Sox. Dr. Cole, let me start with this. Zach and others around the league, uh, they're talking about how anxious they are to get back on the court and play, and that's understandable, but what can you tell them? Well, at this time, none of us are prepared to give them any single date. And we're going to be looking at this as sort of a stepwise approach. When you think about it, the shutdown uh, was very abrupt, but the wind up is going to probably be very slow and might even be in a series of fits and starts. So uh, we're, you know, we, we, the NBA has been amazing in terms of adjudicating all information with their experts and working with the NBA, I can tell you that there's no way we can possibly come up with a date at this juncture. It's a bit of a moving target. I, I would say the place to watch is where the NBA is located is New York. I think New York is really going to be an index in many ways in terms of where we're going to go across this country. But the challenge is that while one, one market may uh, clear up, another market may have significant problems with uh, the incidence of this disease uh, in terms of positive tests, hospitalizations, and the uh, demands on the hospital system. And I think everyone needs to be watching that as much as anything else to try to get some prediction of when they're going to come back. But it's not going to be as if you and I wake up one morning and say, okay, everyone report back, start training. It's going to be, you will have a couple weeks notice and there might be fits and starts depending on what's going on in the different macro environments. Now, because of this pandemic and the situation surrounding all of us here, uh, you have been forced to go on to the front lines and do some things that maybe you haven't done here uh, as recently uh, as, as what you've been doing with the team. But uh, give us an idea. And first of all, I should ask you, how are you feeling and dealing with everything? Yeah, yeah thank you. Um, you know, um, I'm pretty much on the phone 24-7 now with conference calls and so forth. And um, I will tell you that uh, our world uh, has changed dramatically. And, that, and I appreciate you asking. My health is good. My family's health is good. And my staff's health is good. Uh, and I, we all pray that that uh, goes on in perpetuity. And that's the first question we need to ask, given the, the gravity of the situation. Uh, but yes, life is different. We're no longer doing elective surgeries. I can't, I'm not seeing patients with elective problems. We're only doing urgent and emergent time-sensitive management. Uh, player health has uh, changed in terms of our ability to see them in the facilities. Uh, we are social distancing in each and every turn. And I guess if, you know, I always want to use these moments when I'm uh, the opportunity to have an audience to urge all of us to abide by these social distancing distancing principles. I mean, as that's all we have available to us right now until we get more ubiquitous testing and then until we get the opportunity to actually test if you and I have ever had uh, the virus and then finally uh, medicines and vaccines that predictably work. Uh, so we have to do our part today and uh, sports is uh, important, it's exciting. Uh, it's a critical part of our uh, economy and our well-being, but uh, you can see how things uh, shift in priorities when we're dealing with uh, something like this pandemic. All right, Dr. Brian Cole, team physician for the Bulls, co-team physician for the White Sox. You can hear him every week, every Saturday on 670 The Score on the Sports Medicine Weekly at 8 to 8.30 a.m. Thank you, Dr. Cole. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Stay safe.